You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers, how awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. Bonneville! I know this is all very new and strange for you, but I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. That's my psychiatrist. After that, she took all the money you had. Tell the story of the raid. Yeah, let's do that. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Don't tell her about the poop thing. I went to the tavern for ale and met my sweetheart Bianca there. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. I sleep with it. Um, Sir Radzik came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke. Um, crap. Uh, yeah. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. Whinny! They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Um. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. Yeah, you said that. Cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I died 18 times. Um, siege, uh, yeah. I no longer heard any sounds of battle coming from the castle, so Sigismund's army must have regrouped and started preparing for siege. No doubt you're right. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. Oh no. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. Don't tell her this part. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I, we're lying. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them, and they were better armed, I had to try and save them. Oh, God, why did I, I lie? I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped, and I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Really? <laughs> I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, 
You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. I knew it. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. He was a hundred. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? No. My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Hello there. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Sorry I lied about saving that lady. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. She didn't even notice I had my boots off. Not even worth it. I learned women in the Middle Ages. <laughs> oh no, nightmares. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. Burger King just announced a new burger. What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Uh, where am 
my boots. Oh my god. Did she steal my boots? She stole my boots. Oh wait. I have shoes. Wait, can I have these lady shoes? Those are 100% lady shoes. Hmm. Look at me trying to get in the... G oh, what torch? Got it. If you need a light at night, use your torch by holding I. By holding I? Is that, that's an L. Nope. What, what, what is that? By holding... Yeah, it's dark as balls. Of course I'm going to use my torch. Alright. I cannot believe my shoes are gone. Ugh. Great, now I'm gonna get called out for it. Oh, this guy doesn't have shoes, what a peasant. Oh, he's got lady shoes. What YouTube video did you want to show me? What's going on? Well, oh, oh, shit, whoops. <laughs> Is this upstairs? No, wait, I'm going to the pretzel maker. Dang it. Don't go to the pretzel maker, you idiot. Uh, can you guys open the gate? Oh, here we go. Should I put my light out? Sigismund's are hiding himself a mob of foreign mercenaries. They don't know this country like we do. We could hide out somewhere until it blows over. Maybe. Only all they have to do is lean on some scarlet surf and you'll happily tell them everything. I... I didn't think of that. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight, but... Hey, let's chat. Good day to you. Clearly night, sir. What's going on? Do you know what's happening? No. What about you? Nope. Me? How could I? I saw you with Sir Robot. Didn't he tell you anything? No, nothing. Hmm. Numbers. Heed my commands and all will end well. Sorry. What does the colonel have to say? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Divis sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Alright. all his minions. Who else, Rubber? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. 
You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Move out! Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Oh man, I feel like a video game character in a... <laughs> in a stealth game, but I'm like the opposite. Now I'm a guard. Oh man, I don't feel good about this. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? Yes. I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. <laughs> I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. So do I follow you? Press T and see and set how long you want to wait. Watch out though tired and hungerness grow. Alright, so just wait until the morning. I'm guessing that's a okay. It's a good. That's a good horn, not a bad horn. Oh no, we are going to the battlements. Oh, Ugh, am I? I'm not stealing anything. Oh, this is like a freaking battle area. I'm not gonna get there because I don't know how to. Oh no. It's the boy with no shoes. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. You son of a... That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Wart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land 
and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzig Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Shut the fuck up, Johnson. Where are you, Superman? Oh no. I'd rather not have to run away from another. Oh wait, no. Okay, we're good. Do si do, everybody. We don't get to die today. My Lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Hey, watch it. Bury your loved ones. Ooh. I want to talk to the chickens. I want to see their point of view on this. Oh, a trader. I can trade some ladies' shoes. Thank God. Are you awake? Hello? This is not... That's a... <laughs> it's a hay house. Are you the trader? Yeah, you're just some guy. Sorry. My respects to you. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. I probably should go to the trader instead of some random guy, right? Okay, yeah, you just... Ooh, a treasure map! Don't buy the treasure map, you fool. It's probably a fake treasure map. Dried meat, oh wow. I'm gonna pass on that, Professor Tiny Hands. Ooh. Okay. I'm up next. I don't live here, but... Okay, all right. Leave some for the fishes, dude. All right, thank God. Thank you, jeez. I just need, ooh, a combat arena, where? Are you the combat arena? 
Here it is. Who runs this place? Oh, you do. Alright, wait, just give me a second. I have to get to Scallops. Why did Sigmund raid Scallops? What is Sigmund after? What do you know about the Cubans? Uh, Cubans! The humans? Why did Sigismund burn down Scallops and then come here, too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Strategic position. I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Smarty pants. The Cubans. Where did these Cubans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Um, I'm gonna just say this one. So, Robard, I need to get to Scallets. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Uh, if you were in my shoes, you'd do the same. I have to bury my parents. Alright, uh, let's do that. So, Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, Damn it. but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. All right. Is this guy the actual traitor? You know what, dude? Fine. I'll sell you some lady shoes, you freak. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. You've got more than coin, you weirdo. All right. Man, I need shoes. Take the dress out. Uh, I'm gonna try to haggle, but I suck at this. Can we do something about the price? Hi. These lady shoes would be a pretty penny. All right, so I can ask for more. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. This dickhead doesn't have any money. I'm gonna get two pennies out of you. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Yeah, thanks for the two pennies. Can I just jump? <laughs> jump over and start running? <laughs> yeah, that uh, that kid just started running away. There we go. Is there a treasure somewhere? Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? Everyone fled here with only what they could carry. But I reckon Vatava, the pond keeper, wouldn't let even Sigismund interrupt his business. I saw him by the granary. You can't miss him. He's skinny as a bulrush. 
I saw him by the granary. You can't miss him. He's skinny as a bulrush. Ma'am, you said that already. 